Have you ever felt like life is a series of endless uncertainties? It's like you're constantly seeking direction and purpose. Maybe you've experienced moments of doubt, wondering if you're on the right path, or if there's something more to this journey we call life. Today, we're going to explore a transformative truth that has the power to change your life forever. In a world where we're bombarded with messages of self-reliance and hustle, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and lost in the chaos. But what if I told you that there's a timeless truth, a guiding light that has the power to illuminate even the darkest of paths? It's about something so simple, yet profoundly transformative, putting God first. It's about shifting our focus from ourselves and our own desires to something greater, something eternal. When we put God first, we're not just making a decision. We're embarking on a journey, a journey of faith, trust, and surrender. It's a journey that leads to a life filled with purpose, peace, and joy beyond measure. And the best part? It's a journey that anyone can embark on, regardless of where they are or what they've been through. So, if you've ever felt like there's something missing in your life, if you've ever longed for a deeper sense of meaning and fulfillment, then I invite you to join me on this journey. Together, let's explore the transformative power of putting God first and trusting in Him with all our hearts. Your life will never be the same. In a world that often feels overwhelming and chaotic, it's natural to want to cling tightly to control. We meticulously plan our days, chart out our futures, and strive to manipulate every outcome in our favor. But what happens when life throws us difficulties that we never saw coming? What do we do when our carefully constructed plans crumble before our eyes? This is where the beauty of surrendering control to God comes into play. It's not about giving up or admitting defeat. Rather, it's about acknowledging that there's a greater force at work in our lives. When we let go of the illusion of control and place our trust in God, we open ourselves up to a sense of peace that surpasses understanding. Think about it this way. Imagine you're on a boat in the middle of a stormy sea. The waves are crashing against the sides, the wind is howling, and you feel like you're being tossed around, with no direction or purpose. In that moment, what do you do? Do you try to wrestle control of the boat, steering it frantically in hopes of finding safety? Or do you surrender to the captain, trusting that he knows the waters better than you ever could. In our lives, God is the ultimate captain. He sees the bigger picture, knows the depths of the sea, and has a plan that far exceeds our limited understanding. When we put our trust in Him, we're essentially saying, I may not understand what's happening right now, but I trust that you do. I trust that you're guiding me towards something greater than I could ever imagine. This shift in perspective is liberating. It relieves us of the burden of trying to control every aspect of our lives and allows us to rest in the knowledge that we are not alone. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 urges us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. It's a reminder that we don't have to have all the answers. That's what God is for. So, as you go about your day, Remember to release your grip on control and surrender it to the one who holds the universe in his hands. Trust that God's plan for your life is far greater than anything you could ever dream up on your own. When you put God first and trust in him, you'll find that everything will fall into place. Prioritizing God opens the door to divine direction and purpose. Psalm 32 verse 8 assures us, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. When we trust in God's plan, we discover clarity amidst confusion and direction amidst uncertainty. Our relationship with God becomes a compass, guiding us toward fulfillment and meaning. Imagine a GPS, guiding you through the twists and turns, leading you to your ultimate destination. That's what trusting in God's plan feels like. It's a steady guiding hand through life's uncertainties. Think about the times when you faced tough decisions or felt lost in the wilderness of life. 
Maybe you've wondered which career path to take, or perhaps you've struggled with relationships or personal challenges. In those moments, turning to God for guidance can make all the difference. God's guidance isn't a mysterious whisper in the wind. It's a tangible presence in our lives. Through prayer, meditation, and studying His Word, we open our hearts to His wisdom and direction. It's like having a direct line to the ultimate source of knowledge and understanding. But trusting in God's plan isn't always easy. It requires faith, the belief that God knows what's best for us even when we can't see the bigger picture. It means surrendering our own desires and agendas and submitting to His will. Yet, when we do, we discover a profound sense of peace and clarity. Suddenly, the fog lifts and we see our path illuminated before us. Doors begin to open, opportunities arise, and we step confidently into the future, knowing that God is leading the way. So, if you're feeling lost or uncertain about your next steps, I encourage you to seek God's guidance. Spend time in prayer, listen for His voice, and trust that He will direct your steps. When you put God first, you'll never walk alone, for He is always by your side, guiding you every step of the way. Life's journey is often marked by unexpected challenges and hardships. It's during these difficult times that our faith in God is truly tested. Yet, it's also in these moments that we have the opportunity to experience the incredible strength and presence of God in our lives. Think about a time when you faced a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Maybe it was a health crisis, a financial struggle, or a broken relationship. In those moments of despair, it's natural to feel overwhelmed and powerless. But when we turn to God in prayer, we tap into a reservoir of strength that surpasses our own understanding. The Bible is filled with stories of ordinary people who faced extraordinary trials with unwavering faith. Take the story of Job, for example. Despite losing everything he held dear, Job remained steadfast in his trust in God declaring, Though he slay me, yet will I hope in him. Job 13 verse 15. Likewise, the Apostle Paul endured countless hardships in his missionary journeys, including persecution, imprisonment, and shipwreck. Yet, he confidently proclaimed, I can do all this through him, who gives me strength. Philippians 4 verse 13. When we trust in God's promises, we discover that his strength is is made perfect in our weakness. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 We may not always understand why we're facing adversity, but we can be assured that God is with us every step of the way. In times of trouble, God doesn't promise to remove all obstacles from our path. Instead, He promises to walk alongside us, providing comfort, courage, and hope. As Psalm 23 verse 4 assures us, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. By trusting in God's strength, we can face adversity with confidence and resilience. Our struggles become opportunities for spiritual growth and transformation. As we rely on His power, we discover that we are more than conquerors through Him who loves us. Romans 8 verse 37. So, when you find yourself in the midst of a storm, remember that you are not alone. God is with you, ready to carry you through the darkest of nights. Trust in His strength, and you will emerge from the trials of life stronger, wiser, and more deeply rooted in faith. Putting God first reshapes not only our priorities, but also our entire outlook on life. It's like putting on a new pair of glasses that allow us to see the world through God's eyes. Suddenly, the pursuit of material wealth and worldly success fades in comparison to the pursuit of spiritual growth and serving others. When we prioritize our relationship with God, everything else falls into place. Our goals and aspirations realign with His will, leading to a more fulfilling and purpose-driven life. Jesus himself emphasized this principle when he said, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. 
Matthew 6 verse 33. Think about it this way. Imagine you're climbing a mountain, and at the top is the fulfillment of all your desires. You might think that reaching the summit means accumulating wealth, fame, or power. But as you ascend, you realize that true fulfillment lies not in reaching the top, but in the journey itself, particularly the journey of drawing closer to God. When God becomes our top priority, our desires align with His desires. We begin to value things like love, compassion, humility, and service over the fleeting pleasures of this world. Our hearts are transformed and we find contentment in simply being in His presence. This transformation isn't just about changing what we do, it's about changing who we are at the core. It's about becoming more like Christ, selfless, compassionate, and full of love. As we allow God to reorder our priorities, we discover a deeper sense of fulfillment and purpose that transcends anything the world has to offer. So, today, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on your priorities. Are you putting God first in your life, or are other things taking precedence? Remember, when you prioritize God, your life will never be the same. In a world where success is often measured by material possessions and external achievements, prioritizing God offers a profound shift in perspective. When we put God first, our definition of success is transformed from worldly standards to eternal values. It helps us see what truly matters in life. Imagine chasing after promotions, wealth, and recognition, only to find emptiness at the end of the road. That's the reality for many who prioritize success without considering God's plan for their lives. But when we align our goals with His purpose, success takes on a new meaning, one that transcends the temporary and embraces the eternal. Success, from a God-centered perspective, is not about the size of our bank accounts or the number of accolades on our shelves. It's about living a life that reflects His love, grace, and truth. It's about making a difference in the lives of others and leaving a legacy that points others to Christ. Jesus himself set the ultimate example of success through his life of humility, service, and sacrifice. He didn't seek fame or fortune. Instead, he prioritized obedience to the Father's will, even unto death on the cross. And because of his obedience, he achieved the greatest victory of all, redemption for humanity. When we prioritize God, we learn to measure success by the depth of our relationship with Him and the impact we have on others. It's about loving God wholeheartedly and loving our neighbors as ourselves. It's about using our talents and resources to further God's kingdom and bring glory to His name. In the pursuit of success, we often encounter setbacks, failures, and disappointments. But when we trust in God's plan, we find comfort in knowing that He works all things together for our good. Romans 8 verse 28 Even in the midst of adversity, we can experience His peace that surpasses understanding. So, as you navigate the journey of life, I encourage you to reevaluate your definition of success. Are you chasing after fleeting pleasures or pursuing lasting fulfillment in Christ? Remember, True success is found in surrendering to God's will and walking in obedience to His Word. When you do, your life will be a testament to His faithfulness and your legacy will echo throughout eternity. As we conclude, remember that putting God first is not a one-time decision but a daily commitment. Trusting in Him brings about a profound transformation, a life filled with purpose, peace, and joy. When we prioritize God, we're not just rearranging our schedules, we're reshaping our hearts. It's about inviting God into every aspect of our lives, our relationships, our work, our dreams, and our fears. Imagine waking up each morning with a sense of anticipation, knowing that God is with you every step of the way. Picture facing challenges with confidence, knowing that His strength is made perfect in your weakness. Envision a life where success is measured not by societal standards, but by the depth of your relationship with God. But let's be real. This journey won't always be easy. 
There will be moments of doubt, moments of fear, moments when you're tempted to take back control. But remember, God is faithful. He promises to never leave us nor forsake us. So even in the darkest moments, cling to his promises, knowing that his love never fails. So, I encourage you today, surrender control, seek divine guidance, find strength in adversity, realign your priorities, and embrace a renewed perspective on success. Your life will never be the same, because when you put God first, you invite his transformative power into every area of your life. Before we part ways, let's take a moment to connect with God through prayer. Let's bow our heads and open our hearts to his presence as we seek his continued guidance, strength, and peace in our lives. Heavenly Father, as we come before you in prayer, we humbly surrender our hearts to your divine presence. We acknowledge your sovereignty over our lives and the universe. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and in you, we find our refuge and strength. Lord, we thank you for the transformative power of putting you first in our lives. Help us to trust in you wholeheartedly, to lean not on our own understanding, but to acknowledge you in all our ways, knowing that you will direct our paths. Grant us the wisdom to surrender control and embrace your perfect will for our lives. In the midst of life's uncertainties and challenges, we find solace in your unfailing love. You are our guiding light in the darkness, our rock and our fortress. When we are overwhelmed by the storms of life, help us to anchor our faith in your promises, knowing that you are with us always. Lord, we pray for divine guidance and direction in every aspect of our lives. Open our eyes to see your hand at work in the world around us. Illuminate the path you have laid out before us, that we may walk in obedience and humility. Grant us discernment to recognize your voice amidst the noise of the world and courage to follow where you lead. Give us strength, O Lord, to face the trials and tribulations that come our way. When we are weak, remind us that your strength is made perfect in our weakness. Help us to persevere with faith and endurance, knowing that you are our ever-present help in times of trouble. Father, transform our hearts and minds according to your will. Align our priorities with your kingdom purposes that we may seek first your righteousness and trust you to provide for all our needs. May our lives be a reflection of your love and grace, drawing others into relationship with you. Grant us a renewed perspective on success, Lord. Help us to measure success, not by worldly standards, but by the depth of our relationship with you. May we find true fulfillment in knowing and serving you, rather than in the fleeting pleasures of this world. In closing, we thank you, Lord, for the privilege of coming before your throne in prayer. May this time of communion strengthen our faith and deepen our dependence on you. May your name be glorified in our lives, now and forevermore. We pray all these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. If this message resonated with you, I invite you to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more inspirational content. Share your thoughts and experiences below, and let's continue this journey of faith together.